Editing is a powerful tool that helps move stories forward. Whether it's a stylistic montage, intense action sequence, or just a dialogue scene, the way your story is cut affects what the viewer experiences. Now before we get into all the special effects and music and color correction, it's important that you know the editing essentials. Now Final Cut is the program we use at the Film Camp for Kids, and if you do attend any of our classes, you'll learn this program more in depth. But for today, I'm just gonna show you the essentials. When you first open Final Cut, there are a few things you need to know. This area down here is called your timeline. This is where your edit will live. Any media that you add in will be up here in your media section. This is called the playhead. And this is how you navigate back and forth on your timeline. This little icon here, if you click it, will allow you to zoom in and out of your timeline. This bar down here will let you scroll across your timeline. So as you can see here, I have two video layers. The way Final Cut works is you drag and drop layers on top of one another. For the purposes of this video, we are gonna be focusing on two main clips. So as you can see, I have an Oscars movie montage here, and just below that, I have footage of me talking. So right now, these videos are layered one on top of the other, which means the Oscars montage will play over the video of me talking. If I wanted to change this, all I would have to do is grab the video of me and place it above the Oscars video montage. But what if I wanted to keep the audio of me talking and the video of the Oscars montage? With Final Cut, you can very easily separate video and audio tracks. To do this, right click the video with the audio that you'd like to keep and click detach audio. This will send our audio down to its own layer above and much like video you can stack layers of audio as well. So now what I can do is either deselect by pressing V which will gray out this video and only play the video below or I can simply delete this video track of myself and now we just have our audio of me talking and the video of the Oscars montage playing. Now let's say I want to get rid of a certain clip. For example, we'll use this behind the scenes shot. What we can do is zoom in on our timeline, making the footage much bigger and easier to see. Then using the left and right arrow keys, I can move frame by frame until we see the start of this clip. This is where we get into cutting. To make a cut, you use the B key. B standing for blade, blades cut. So I hit B and you can see my cursor turns into a blade. I can now click at the exact moment where I want the cut and then I'll hit A for arrow, making my cursor back into an arrow. Now I'll move to where I want the clip to end, which is right around here, and I'll hit B for blade. Now, as you can see, I've made a cut exactly where I want the clip to be gone. So I can select that clip, delete it, and now I can do the same thing below and bring my two clips together. So now when I play it back, the clip of the behind the scenes is gone. But let's take that a little further and really clean it up. This clip begins with a fade in. What if I want to get rid of the fade in? Well again, I'll use the arrow keys and move over to the exact frame where the image is fully clear, right around here. Then you can actually just click and drag back to that point and do the same with the item below. After they go off. And as you can see, we now got rid and that is how you make a cut. Now this tab over here is all your video and audio effects. To get to this tab, is this button right here. Right next to it is the transitions button. This similarly offers you hundreds of different transitions. Some are good, some are very bad, like curtains for example. But for the purposes of adding it on, it's incredibly easy. Let's pick a common one, a cross dissolve, and add that to the beginning. All you do is click and drag, and now what makes it we have our fade in. Now let's say we want to make this a little longer. We can simply drag as long as we want or shorten to make it as quick as we want. And what's great about these transitions is they're also fully customizable. Over here are all the settings. Editing is a great skill to have and it just takes practice. 
If you go to the Apple Store, you can get a free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro. And with the essentials that you've learned today, you can start editing your movie.